100 heavily armed SWAT officers. There you go. There's the SWAT teams again. And paramilitary units before sending in machinery to tear down the $5 million church building to the ground. There's a lesson in that. There's a lesson in that for all of us in terms of compromise. Now, I want to go over some of the Supreme Court decisions because they're coming at us fast and furious in these last few days. Uh, the Supreme Court is... Um, uh, released a couple of decisions yesterday. Uh, one of them was a key decision about not being allowed to seize people's telephones without a uh, search warrant. And that leaves, I think, the NSA, the CIA, these fusion centers, Homeland Security, all these police departments, that leaves them in a kind of weird position, doesn't it? Because they're doing dragnet surveillance of everybody without a search warrant. So, Where's this going to go? Well, that's a very interesting court decision, and I think that's going to put a foot in the door for a lot of people who want to try to get back our privacy. And I expect to see that happen. That was a unanimous decision. They had another unanimous decision today, um, but this is one that uh, wasn't unanimous. This is where the U.S. Supreme Court strikes down Massachusetts abortion buffer zone law. They had put up a law that put a buffer zone around abortion clinics where protesters could not go. You know, free speech zones, free speech areas. We saw that at the Bundy Ranch in Bunkerville, you know, where they put up a, a little plastic uh, a fence around an area out in the middle of nowhere. I mean, it literally was in the middle of nowhere. And then put a, printed up an official sign and said, free speech area. Somebody put up a handwritten sign next to that and said, the First Amendment is not an area. And we've seen that happen not just at uh, Bunkerville. We've seen that happen at the last couple of presidential uh, conventions, both Republican and Democrat. And we've covered that, how they put protesters far away from the convention center, literally put them in cages. There's a picture of that, uh, that plastic fence in the signed First Amendment area. Uh, yeah, the First Amendment is not an area. And so it's good that the Supreme Court said that as well. Uh, we need to fight for our rights. And, you know, the people who want to take away your First Amendment rights, want to take away your Second Amendment, your Fourth Amendment, your due process rights, they want to take everything. They're not going to be satisfied with any of this stuff. And free speech is where we really wake people up. Now, they also came back with a unanimous decision uh, saying that Obama violated the Constitution with his recess appointments. The Curt Nemo has an article up that I think has got the uh, best background and analysis of this of anybody else. Uh, We've got that on Infowars.com. He points out, Kurt Nemo points out, that Obama made 32 recess appointments. And in comparison, Ronald Reagan did 232, and Bill Clinton and George Bush did more than 100 each. So it really is about attempting to restore a constitutional balance to the executive branch. What Republicans had done to try to stop Obama from just appointing whatever judges he wanted to without any Senate oversight, which is the way the Constitution is set up. What they had done was to set up pro forma sessions, according to Kurt's article, to prevent Obama from making recess appointments and circumventing the Congress. And in response then, of course, Harry Reid and the Democrats changed the rules. <laughs> They're all about changing the rules, getting rid of uh, the rules in the Senate to have filibusters, uh, which was a good thing. It's a good thing to uh, take your time to think about this and to have uh, some control over the discussion. But they want to just rush everything through without any discussion. They want Obama to appoint, uh, make all these appointments to the, in this case, it was a national uh, labor board. And uh, this was a nine to nothing decision again today. And what they said was the Congress the Senate is in session when the Senate says that it's in session. So they basically struck that down, and uh, Kurt Nemo's analysis is exactly right. This is one area where Obama hadn't been able to do quite as many in the past. Not, I think it's not because uh, he didn't want to or didn't have uh, uh, the desire to uh, go around the Constitution, but I think it's just because of that tactic that the uh, Republicans had come up with to stop that. But now that tactic has been shut down, but the Supreme Court has said no. You have to, uh, we're going to balance that power a little bit. Now, uh, there's some other things happening that I think really shine where the real risk is coming to us from these uh, technological advances. There's a DC cab drivers are choking the streets in protest of Uber. And I want to talk about that briefly in the next segment that we've got uh, before the special report. And I want to give you an idea of really 
where we're headed in terms of major, major restructuring of our economy. The entire transportation issue, industry, I believe, is going to be changed in the next three to five years. Be right now back. it's time to get your family the emergency readiness pack it deserves. And there's one site to turn to, TopPackGear.com. From large to small, you'll find kits for every purpose, and all of them can be customized by you. TopPackGear.com offers the best pre-built packs the Internet has to offer, assembled using only high-quality products vetted by pros and chosen for the best balance of quality and value. Prepare, endure, prevail with TopPackGear.com. There's one major factor affecting the health of millions, and most people are completely unaware. Acid levels. Soda, meat, dairy, caffeine, and sugar can all lead to elevated acid levels in the body. AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops get the body's pH levels back in perfect balance. It's a holistic, natural, and powerful approach that will give you greater health, vitality, and zest for life. AlkaVision plasma pH drops. Visit alkavision.com. Alkalize your body. Supercharge your health at alkavision.com. What good is a Big Berkey water filter? We get that question a lot here at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And in a word, the answer is protection. Protection from water main breaks, E. coli contamination, environmental chemical spills, pesticide runoff, chlorine taste and smell, and all forms of fluoride. Plus, Big Berkey Water Filters are the original gravity water filter system and most trusted on the market for a reason. Tested by multiple independent NSF EPA certified labs, they are the gold standard in water purification. At only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. That means big savings. Big Berkey, the one that's powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. Get a Big Berkey today at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. GCN listeners receive 5% off all ceramic filter systems. Visit our website or call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. Get the most important package of information you'll ever receive in your life for only $10. The package includes three books and seven DVD programs which cover biblical miracles and prophecy. The Shroud of Turin, The Third Secret of Fatima, What Really Happened to the Catholic Church, and more. Call 800-513-0029. That's 800-513-0029. Or go to VaticanCatholic.com. That's VaticanCatholic.com. 800-513-0029. VaticanCatholic.com. Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to generate an endless supply of natural silver solutions. SilverLungs.com. You'll find no wild claims or pseudoscience, just a lifetime of nano-sized pure silver solutions. The Silver Lungs generator allows you to make your own, so stop paying for silver solutions. The unique lung delivery system targets respiratory infections where other silver solutions simply cannot reach. See the Silver Lungs generator and lung delivery system at SilverLungs.com. That's SilverLungs.com. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, your host today, and we're going to have Alex joining us with a special report at the bottom of the hour, Digital Slave Currency. And he's going to go back to his very first film, America Destroyed by Design, and he's going to show you how what he was talking about way back then is happening now. And of course, it focused around the driving license, biometric identification. The government is all about control nodes. 
and transportation is a major control node. And we should keep that in mind when we're looking at this uh, dispute that's going on all over the world now between taxi cab companies and Uber. You know, a lot of people who are free market, who are libertarian, reflexively kind of take the side of somebody who is uh, trying to break into the business of being a taxi driver, mainly because for the longest time we've seen jitney cab services that were servicing minority areas, going into areas where regular taxi cab companies would not go. We see them struggling with uh, local governments who are trying to enforce a monopoly by the cab company. So there was this established businesses trying to work with the government to keep competition out of the way. And we see that happening, whether it's restaurants, we see that happening in many, many different industries. And so a lot of libertarians and free market people would instinctively side with the uh, up and comer, the guy who's trying to get in, who's trying to make things better. But we're seeing protests all over the world, throughout Europe. They had a massive protest in London. I think it's 12,000 cabs at one point protested Uber. We see now this happened uh, just yesterday in the District of Columbia in Washington. Uh, says cab drivers choke the streets to protest rideshare companies. I guess the question, since I've been to Washington many times, is how do you know when <laughs> they're choking the streets as a protest and when it's just typical Washington, D.C. traffic? I mean, that place is impossible to get through. But What's going on with this is that you've got these companies like Lyft and like Uber who are essentially setting up uh, rideshare uh, operations, doing it through high-tech uh, apps that you can use on your phone to uh, bring in taxi cab companies. And some people are making some pretty good money as Uber drivers, but they ought to look at what the long-term plan is here as the Uber CEO puts it out. There's an article from the Boston Herald where they talked about Uber and they talked about Google uh, steering. Big changes is what they said. And here's a quote from the Uber CEO, Travis Kalanick. And he said, the reason Uber could be expensive is because you're not just paying for the car. You're paying for the other dude in the car. Now, when there's no other dude in the car, the cost of taking an Uber anywhere becomes cheaper than owning a vehicle. So the magic there is you basically bring the cost below the cost of ownership for everybody. And then car ownership goes away. Hear that? Car ownership goes away. Now, in other quotes, this guy has also kind of channeled uh, Melissa Harris-Perry when he says, we've got to get over the notion that cars are privately owned hardware. They should be community-owned transportation vehicles. Where this guy is going, this is, they've got the unions fighting, uh, the, the taxi drivers fighting against the Uber drivers. They love to do this divide and conquer. But Uber has an overreaching strategy, Uber and Google. They want not self-driving cars. Let's get rid of that terminology. You're not, you're driving yourself right now. You're probably driving down the road listening to me, and you're driving your car. You've got truck drivers out there who are making a living. You've got taxi drivers out there who are making a living in the transportation business. That's going to go away, according to their version. What Uber wants is what all of these large multinational corporations want, and that is to own everything. See, there's a level of fascism at the top, and then there, at the bottom, for us, we get the communism. So you've got companies like Uber, and they just had a, a massive uh, fundraising where they, uh, they, they raised $1.2 billion. They now have a valuation of $17 billion. They plan on raising $200 million more. That's according to VentureBeat.com. And, of course, they're being fought with all these different lawsuits and all these different jurisdictions and state agencies. But here's where he sees it going. He sees it going to a situation where he owns all the transportation. And the cars are not self-driven cars, they are computer-driven cars. And they are government-controlled cars. See, when the computers are driving the cars, the government is going to control when and where you can go. Certain areas are going to be off-limits to you, just like they're going to be off-limits to your cell phone or to your laptop. They're going to know where you are and shut down those cell phones, shut down those laptops. Maybe they'll do it to you individually. You know, they have that capability, going back to the 2008 patent from Apple, and now we see Samsung and other companies putting that on the Android platform. They want to be able to selectively shut you down. 
See, transportation is a control node for the tyrannical authoritarian state, and they don't want you to own your own car or to control your own car. They're going to make it impossible for you with disincentives from insurance, giving you instantaneous speeding tickets, whatever. They're going to control the transportation. That's what this is about. We're on the march. The Empire.